This chapter is called Special Purpose Diode and includes many different types of diodes, but we will concentrate only on Zener diodes and LEDs. Zener diodes are designed to go in reverse, and for each Zener diode there is a unique value, and it could be 3.1, 5.1, 9.1, in this case it's 15 volts. We must always find the current through the Zener diode, and in this circuit we have 24 volts source, we have 470 ohm resistor in series with a 15 volt Zener diode. So the trick then is to find the current through the resistor, which will then be the current through the Zener diode. To find the voltage dropped across the 470 ohm resistor, we say it must be 24 volts minus 15 volts on the Zener diode, which gives us 9 volts across the series resistor. The current through the series resistor must be the voltage across the resistor is divided by the value of the resistor. In other words, 9 volts divided by 470 ohms, which equals 19.1 milliamps. This must also be the current through the Zener. One of the most useful applications of Zener diode is for voltage regulation, because anything that's in parallel with the Zener diode will drop the same voltage as the Zener diode. In this case, the voltage across the load would be 15 volts because it is in parallel with the 15 volt Zener diode. Let's begin by finding the voltage across the 470 ohm series resistor. In this case it's 24 volts minus 15 volts which is 9 volts. Next we find the current through the series resistor which is 9 volts divided by 470 ohm. In this case 19.1 milliamps. Now this is also the current through the whole circuit. The current through the load is found because it must be 15 volts divided by the load, 1.5 kilo ohm, or 10 milliamps. Finally, we can find the current through the Zener diode because it is the current through the series resistor, which is also the total current, uh, 19.1 milliamps, minus the current through the load, 10 milliamps. So the current through the Zener diode is 9.1 milliamps. And as we said before, we must always know the current through the Zener diode. There are times when the Zener diode circuit might be more complex, in which case we have to use the Thevenin method. First, let's find the current through the load, which in this case is 6.2 volts divided by 1.5 kilo ohms, which equals 4.1 milliamp. We will need this calculation uh, later on. Now we must find Thevenin voltage by removing the Zener diode and then labeling the empty terminal A and B. If we imagine a voltmeter between terminal A and B, then the Thevenin voltage is the voltage drop across the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. Now this can be found then by saying it's 12 volts times 1.5 kilo ohm divided by 220 ohms plus 1.5 kilo ohm, which equals 10.5 volts. This is Thevenin voltage. We now find Thevenin resistance by removing the power supply and replacing with a wire. If we imagine an ohmmeter placed between terminal A and B, then the Thevenin resistance is 220 ohms times 1.5 kilo ohms divided by 220 ohms plus 1.5 kilo ohms, which equals 192 ohms. Remember, this is simply the formula for finding resistors uh, in parallel. We have now simplified the circuit with the Thevenin method, and when the first thing we do is we put back the Zener diode in the original place where it was before, in this case between terminal A and B. We can find the current through the Zener diode using the methods from the very first circuit. Namely, let's start by finding the voltage across the Thevenin resistor. In this case, 10.5 volts minus 6.2 volts, which equals 4.3 volts. Now we can find the current through the Zener diode because it's the voltage across the Thevenin resistor divided by the Thevenin resistance. And then this is 4.3 volts divided by 192 ohms, which equals 22.4 milliamps. Let's put the circuit back the way it was from the very beginning so that we can do some final calculations. We have just calculated that Zener current is 22.4 milliamps. And earlier, we had calculated that the current through the load is 4.1 milliamps. So we can find the current through the series resistor, which is also total current, and it is 22.4 milliamps plus 4.1 milliamps for a total of 26.5 milliamps. 
When working with light emitting diodes, let's assume that they will always drop two volts. A light emitting diode must always be used with a series resistor to limit the current. So in order to calculate the current, let's use the methods that we did when we've had one resistor and one diode in series. In order to find the current through the LED, we need to find the current through the series resistor. If the LED drops two volts and the source is 15 volts, then the voltage across the series resistor is 15 volts minus two volts. And if we divide it by 2.2 kilo ohm, which is a series resistor, then the current through the series resistor and the LED is 5.9 milliamps. This is a very crude example because when working with real LEDs that come in different colors, red, green, amber, even blue, we find that the LED will drop more or less than two volts. And of course, it happens that this semester we have no labs, we can't see this in reality. Like I said before, this is just a very rude example.